a shocking announcement from Elon Musk on Twitter right here. Some people even thought it was a joke. It doesn't look, doesn't look like it's a joke. He's basically saying that he is going to be taking Tesla private, meaning it's no longer going to be a public company. And he wants to do that $420 um, a share. Uh, he said that he already secured the funding. Um, and this is huge. Let's talk about what this means. There are a few other news, not as significant, but definitely interesting. And of course, we're going to get to comments of the day and other fun stuff. Uh, all of this is coming up next. Welcome to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. And if this is your first time here and if you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, well, you came to the right place. Just go ahead and click on the sub subscribe button. It's free. It's down there. So you don't miss anything moving forward. Uh, and let's talk about this stuff. It just doesn't get old ever. This this is exciting. Now, yeah, Elon Musk, tweet, it was a bit of a weird uh, 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 sequence of events. He tweeted this. He tweeted this that he's taking, he wants to take Tesla private. And then he kind of like an hour later or half an hour later, he said, good morning. And everyone was like, wait, were you hacked? Were you aware of this? Um, and the stock price started going up. And um, this is this has been taken a while back, but it's it's around $370. Um, there are reports that the stock trading has been halted. I believe CNBC reported that this so this is a developing story, right? So this is not there, there, there might be some changes by the time you watch this, guys, but um, it is uh, it, it's been a roller coaster. Uh, the, the, the stock obviously reacted well. It didn't go all the way to 420, but it went up. Um, and there are all kinds of things to talk about. First of all, what does it mean taking the company private? Well, that means that, that basically all the stock that's out there is going to be bought back by uh, investors, maybe Elon Musk and so forth. So Tesla really will the, their shares will only be privately owned you won't be able to go and buy or invest into tesla through uh through uh, uh through through stock uh, exchange and 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 this is like tech by the way this, this can take a year to or two it has to be approved by fcc we don't know what their mood is with this administration. They have denied some of the mergers and so forth. Um, so this is this is going to be a long, painful process. They may not actually end up where um, uh, where we think is going to end up. Of course, it's going to be very interesting what uh, private investors. Uh, Elon had found someone was reporting that Saudi Arabia is was interested in in securing like five percent share in the company. That would be interesting and controversial for sure. Um, now there are obviously some that, and I believe this would be a great move. Just let me just go on record. I think it's going to be a great move because uh, first of all, you know, being under pressure of Wall Street is is really difficult, right? You got to tell they always you always have to impress them tell them you're going to impress them and then impress them even more than you told them you're going to right so that creates a lot of pressure that creates you know bad products uh that are being rushed off of the production lines um that that and 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 you know or software that's being rushed into releases and tesla had suffered from both of these symptoms really so um this could be good for consumers and of course no, but, but on the other hand i have to say that obviously Public companies have to be more transparent, that they have to report their earnings, they have to abide by certain accounting rules and so forth and regulations. And that that kind of uh, keeps the company honest, if you will, in, in, in some ways. And when the company is private, they kind of do whatever the hell they want and you they're not as transparent. Um, so there's two sides of the coin. However, I do think that this would be a great idea because, you know, especially... Um, you know, I already said many times, I don't think shorting stock should even be a thing. I don't think it should be legal. Stock market it should be something that people invest to, 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 for our American companies to prosper, at least companies who do business here in America, not to bet against them. And as we all know that there are like more people who's trying to bet against Tesla than any other company. And not only that, on they're trying to spread rumors and, and, what people call a fake news, even though I don't like that term, uh, about the company so they can make some money on shorting the stock. So, you know, obviously a company that's not no longer public will have to deal with this. And that would be obviously benefit, you know, to Tesla, to the consumers and so forth. Now, the value of the company, of course, would be much more difficult to uh, to figure out. In some cases, it, it might prevent or make it a little bit more difficult to borrow money. But at the same time, the company will really be able to do things on their own terms, on their own schedule. 
And those are important to Tesla. I mean, we, we, we all know all of this, uh, you know, no one's going to really, except for con consumers, will really be the only um, uh, sort of driving force, right? If consumers are okay with having delays uh, to buy their car, then that's all that's really going to matter. That's really not going to be the stock market or Wall Street analysts and, and, and all of that stuff. Of course, they'll still have private investors that are going to be maybe putting pressure on them, but that is not, not nearly the same. They're definitely not, not the same publicity. So uh, it, is, it is not something that you would have to worry about. So um, this is a developing story. I'm sure we'll be talking about it tomorrow next week and probably for months to come just like i said it's a long complicated process i'm sure elon will uh come out and 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 say a little bit more by the way for those of you who think it's a joke it can't possibly be a joke it would be extremely unethical and most likely legal for a ceo of a company to to announce something that he knows is not true that knows uh will affect stock and maybe uh, create some uh, investments that are going to be based on essentially a lie so this cannot be a joke it doesn't seem like his account is hacked um so this 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 is happening uh, obviously there will be more information even by tomorrow when i go live with you guys uh it, the information is going to be different but let's move on a few uh, on a few other news and then we'll come back to this tomorrow uh, of course before that i want to remind you guys that the show and this channel is sponsored by evanex the aftermarket accessories for tesla there's a discount code in the description of this video all right uh there's some bad news for for tesla actually that came out of uh insurance institute for highway safety they they they, they uh test cars for uh safety do crash tests and they just conducted um uh safety tests for a bunch of cars including model 3 um they determined that model 3 was the best one of the best in keeping itself in the lane uh, with their autopilot features and that's great news however where it didn't really do well as a matter of fact this is pretty troubling and we've we've seen news like like this before that kind of confirm that uh it, it failed at auto braking as a matter of fact the, the both teslas that they tested I think it was Model 3, Model S. Um, they they were the only cars that they tested that actually ended up crashing into the target. Um, you know, we, 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 the, there, there were some independent tests that were questioned before that that kind of came up with the same conclusion. Uh, we know there were a couple of cases where Tesla kind of smashed into a stationary object like a fire truck and so forth. Uh, so this this is something that Tesla needs to work on, obviously. Um, I'd like a little bit more new, uh, maybe a reply from uh, Tesla, because obviously they will, they will analyze this and see why this happened. Hopefully this will be also a key for them to fix. I'm um, not sure why they didn't catch it, despite all the reports and so forth. But this is definitely not 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 good. This, this is an important safety feature. Again, I'm going to wait for a little bit more information on this, but um, this is a concern. I know there's bigger news and more exciting news, but I was going to lead with this story until Elon tweeted, by the way. So we'll come back to this if there is more information. Um, also, good news for Tesla. Uh, um, Tesla Model 3 had, uh, well, Tesla in general, had beat uh, the sales record for electric cars in Canada in the month of July. Obviously, because they started importing a lot of Model 3s and selling them successfully there, um, despite the Alberta, the promise of Alberta taking away the entire uh, EV credit at some point. But this is another good news and you know model 3 and tesla can you know, they, they, they continue setting records with this uh, model 3 just because the production rate is so high now at this point and they're only going to be ramping it up even more obviously the target is 6,000 cars by the end uh, per week by the end of this uh, month um and 10,000 uh, model 3s per month at some point next year and that's what the target is also looks like tesla is hiring in china for their upcoming shanghai factory which kind of in its beginning stages but there's a bunch of positions that have been listed uh, on their website if you live there i know you're not watching me because youtube is not allowed in china but uh, uh this is something that you can apply on their website and uh, probably I, I don't know if you if i don't know if you're going to be in production hell but um definitely uh that will create a lot of jobs uh jobs there in shanghai china where i was just what a couple of couple of months ago that was that was a fun trip all right before i get to um a couple of comments of the day I just wanted to acknowledge a couple of my new patreons uh, the first one is gary uh Alexiu. Uh, i'm not really sure once again sorry for butchering someone's name i'm really sorry uh but uh, gary thank you so much for becoming a patreon uh and of course you can do it right here patreon.com slash electric if you want to support the show 
and you got to watch me live and then we're going to do an extra mile segment that I do just specifically for Patreons after I finish the YouTube segment and of course we're going to do that later today and uh, Matthew Williams much easier to pronounce but thank you Matthew appreciate it for becoming a Patreon we're actually very close to the goal of the very first 100 Patreons for this channel so thank you so much for that I've, I've really been enjoying the support guys Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of conversations there. Of course, I, I always try to answer everyone's comments on the Patreon. And I just love doing this extra mile thing that that I started doing. And I, I, I just I just absolutely love it. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're watching me on Patreon. But before that, let's get to the comment of the day. And there are a couple of comments of the day. And I picked them from a two different uh, uh, parts uh, of my uh, feedback uh, comment feed. And it turned out to be from the same person. And uh, it's it's about me getting a Chevy Volt. There's been a lot of conversations about that. I think I made my case for it pretty clear why and how this is not going to affect my um, uh, uh, you know uh, footprint uh, much at all. Um, I don't want to have the conversation again, but there are a couple of things that I did want to address. Because uh, so uh, his name is Tuan Lee. Again, thanks for submitting two comments. I actually picked randomly, not realizing you're the same person. Um, he said um, it just felt like a major downgrade going from a Tesla to a Chevy Volt, uh, and I'm not uh, talking about the cars. Well, yeah, okay. So address the second part, but it's actually I think it's upgrade in both ways. First of all, um, yes, I had to. Well, no, let me back up. I think it's an upgrade as me as a YouTuber. I am um, a more well-versed YouTuber now that I drive an all-electric cars and a, a plug-in hybrid car as well. I already mentioned it many times that I think plug-in hybrids is a, the gateway drug to all-electric cars. It is more affordable and a more realistic solution and a choice for most people, uh, people who cannot afford uh, a $80,000 Tesla uh, or even a $45,000 Bolt, um, it is a great choice. And I think it's a, it's, it's, it's in, you know, most people can just drive on the electric range of the Volt, it's 55 miles. Um, and just, just, just the long trips is where you're going to have to use a little bit of gas. And it's got like almost 50 miles uh, per gallon which is pretty damn good environmentally friendly uh, range. Uh, but as far as downgrading my lifestyle, listen, I came here to Sacramento um, to do this YouTube channel full time. Um, I wanted to quit my job sometime in January because that's when I thought this channel was going to give me enough income to live off of. Unfortunately, I got laid off the very next day after moving here. So I'm just doing this full time. Just going to live off of my savings for a while. Uh, it is a downgrade, absolutely. But I want to do this uh, really, I mean, this is this is my passion, and I'm absolutely fine downgrading my lifestyle and 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 obviously spending half of the money I used to spend uh, on 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 this just so I can do this. This is why I appreciate my Patreons who are supporting me uh, a big time on this one. All right, so let's move on to the second comment. Again, this is from Tuan Lee. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, and then I actually I think I actually did not. <laughs> This was a long morning. Let me see if I can get the right one from him. Um, and if I can't, then we're just not going to. Yeah, unfortunately, I just did not put the graphics up into my slideshow. It was very similar to this one. Maybe I'll feature it tomorrow. Sorry about that. It's been a long, long morning. Today, I'm also saying goodbye to my uh, one of my Teslas. I'm selling it into the new hands. Um, and um, I will be getting my other uh, white one, uh, regular 60 from my ex-girlfriend, who just bought a car yesterday for herself. So she'll be giving me that one back. Uh, we just have to figure out how we can do that from where she lives now and, and still in the Bay Area and where I live now in Mount uh, in, in, in in Sacramento. But we will figure that out. All right. Uh, thank you once again for the question. I'm sorry I couldn't feature the second one. It's just been, just like I said, a long morning. But uh, those of you who are watching me on Patreon, please stay for the extra mile. Um, and we will discuss a couple of things, including the um, Kia Niro uh, plug-in hybrid that I just got, the media car from Kia. I will be reviewing that. Uh, so um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in for tomorrow for the uh, to-be-continued story about the Tesla going private. Other than that, of course, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.